Who is that guy? He's like Iron Man and Thor rolled into one. He's all right. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and Spider-Man? What? He's just awesome, okay? He protects the neighborhood and, you know, he's inspiring. He inspires me to be a better man. What's up, dickwad? Thought you drowned. Sounds like his name's Mysterio. Luomo del Mysterio is Italian for Man of Mystery. They don't actually know who he is. Mysterio. Cool Come name. Babe. So how much of that did you actually see? Not much. I was running. Right, me too. I was also running away. So Paris tomorrow. Go to the Eiffel Tower. Should be great. Yeah, I read it was secretly built as a mind control antenna to create an army of the insane. Oh. Which is why it's my favorite destination on the whole trip. <laughs> what are you gonna do about the water monster? Nothing. It's dead. And besides, that Mysterio guy's all over it. Look, I just wanna spend some time with MJ. We were talking about Paris and I think she really likes me. That's nice. It reminds me of when Betty and I first fell in love. I had just finished my fruit cobbler, right? You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. You're Nick Fury. You just shot Ned. Just a mild tranquilizer. He'll be all right. So good to finally meet you. I saw you at the funeral, but I didn't think that was a good time to exchange numbers. No, that would have been really inappropriate. That's what I just said. Right. The important thing is, you're here. I tried to bring you here, you avoided me, and now you're here. What a coincidence. Wait, was this a coincidence? I used to know everything. Then I come back five years later, and now I know nothing. No intel, no team, and a high school kid is dodging my calls. Here's what I do know. A week ago, a village in Mexico was wiped out by a cyclone. Witnesses say that cyclone had a face. Three days later, a similar event in Morocco. A village was... Just making the rounds. See if anyone needs any emotional counseling after today's traumatic events. No, we'll be okay. We're all fine. Thank you. Great, because I'm, I'm not qualified to actually... Oh, he's passed out. I'm not really qualified to do it anyway, so good night. Where's my teacher? Sorry about that. You were saying? A village was destroyed by what may well be another world-threatening... Are you still awake? You're not answering any of my texts. Um, he's asleep, Betty. Oh, already? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. That's why it's imperative. Hey, boy, so that canal water today was filled with dangerous bacteria Another person touches that door, you and I are going to attend another funeral. Suit up. Let me know if either of you develop vomiting. Stark left these for you. Really? Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Stark said you wouldn't get that because it's not a Star Wars reference. <laughs> you can lose the mask. Everyone here has seen you without it. You'd only be feigning anonymity and breathing through spandex for no good reason. Come on. Yeah. There we have Maria Hill. That is Dimitri, and this is Mr. Beck. Mysterio? What? Doesn't matter. It's just what my friends have been calling me. Well, you can call me Quentin. But you handled yourself well out there today. We saw what you did with the tower. We could use someone like you on my world. Thanks. I'm sorry, your world? Uh, Mr. Beck is from Earth. 
just not yours. There are multiple realities, Peter. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Because I thought that was just theoretical. I mean, that completely changes how we understand the initial singularity. We're talking about an eternal inflation system, and how does that even work with all the quantum? It's insane. Sorry. It's really cool. Don't ever apologize for being the smartest one in the room. Anyway. They were born in stable orbits within black holes, creatures formed from the primary elements, air, water, fire, earth. The science division had a technical name. We just called them elementals. Versions of them exist across our mythologies. Turns out the myths are real. Like Thor. Thor was a myth, and now I study him in my physics class. These myths are threats. They first materialized on my Earth many years ago. We mobilized and fought them, but with each battle they grew, got stronger. I was part of the last battalion left trying to stop them. All we did was delay the inevitable. The elementals are here now, attacking the same coordinates. Our satellites confirm it. So thank Mr. Beck for destroying the other three. There's only one left, fire. The strongest of them all, the one that destroyed my Earth. It's the one that took my family. And it will be in Prague in approximately 48 hours. We have one mission. Kill it. And you're coming with us. I'm sorry, did you say Prague? <laughs> Mr. Fury, this all seems like big time. You know, huge superhero kind of stuff. And, I mean, I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, sir. Bitch, please, you've been to space. I know, but that was an accident, sir. Come on, there's got to be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off-world. Okay, um, Doctor Strange. Unavailable. Captain Marvel. Don't invoke her name. Sir, look, I really want to help, I do. But if my aunt finds out I left my class trip, she's gonna kill me. And if I'm seen like this in Europe after the Washington Monument, my whole class will figure out who I am, and then, and then the whole world will figure out who I am, and then I'm done. Okay, I understand. I'm sorry, what? I want you to get back before your teachers miss you and become suspicious. Dimitri, take him back to the hotel, please. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Fury. And, uh, good luck. See you, kid. Yeah, see ya. Hi, ma'am. Yeah. 